What's up guys, my name is Brandon and iOS 10.3.1 is most likely the last firmware to be supported on the 32-bit iPhone 5. So today I wanted to test out the speed and compare it to iOS 10.2.1 and see if it's really that much quicker. I also have a full review that I did on the iPhone 5 in 2017 and whether or not you should buy it linked in the cards right now and also down in the description below. Before we get into the speed test comparison, I just want to briefly explain what 10.3.1 changes compared to iOS 10.2.1. So iOS 10.3 introduced the new Apple file system, which is basically just a brand new file system built from the ground up. And it's just going to give you a lot more space back on your device and it makes it feel faster. We'll just say it like that. And it improves upon security and encryption. So let's go ahead and see how these two firmwares compete in some real life testing. I'm not really a big fan of Geekbench scores or anything like that because it's not really practical. I like doing real life testing. So also keep in mind that both of these installs, iOS 10.2.1 and iOS 10.3 were fresh installs. So let's check it out. iOS 10.3.1 versus iOS 10.2.1 on the iPhone 5. So yeah, as you can see, iOS 10.3.1 is not very much quicker than iOS 10.2.1 at all. But I tell you what, Apple definitely does a great job of making it feel faster. And they've actually mentioned this before, especially when iOS 10.3 was first released. They said it's going to make it feel quicker. And I can definitely tell you that 10.3 does feel faster compared to any other version of iOS. I've used it on the iPhone 7, I've used it on my iPhone 6, my 7 Plus. It definitely feels faster on every device. But obviously from this speed test, you can see that it does not, at least on the iPhone 5, make a huge difference in terms of actually opening up apps and doing your you know, daily routine of apps you open up and close when you share videos, things like that. So 
it's definitely a pretty interesting result. And I want to see what you guys think. So what do you think of the comparison? Also, do you want to see more comparisons like this with other phones and firmwares? Let me know in a comment down below. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS related videos. So thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.